Well, people out there have been asking to see my fingertips, so I want to show you. This is my thumb, this is my pointer finger. No, but we're really here to talk about our tips using my fingers. So what people are really asking about is this technique that I very commonly do in my shop and as a result on the videos where I'm laying boards out using nothing but a pencil and my fingertip. Hence the name of this video clip. So here's the deal. I've been doing this for a really long time. And as a result of lots and lots of practice, I've gotten really comfortable with this. And I find it's a really good way to lay stuff out. So I want to show it to you, but I'm going to say right now, you've got to practice this to get good at it. But once you have it, then you're going to find it a pretty indispensable skill. So here's the deal. Let's say on this board, I want to cut a chamfer on this outside corner. So I'm maybe going to do that with a block plane. If I'm doing it with a router bit. I'm not going to bother laying it out. But if I'm going to hand plane it, I will. So I'll establish the width of that chamfer here across the top, lock it in with my fingers, with the tip of my middle finger to the tip of the pencil, establishing the overall width of the chamfer. Pull that along, strike a line. Now if it's a chamfer, it's got to be on the face and on the edge. So then we'll come along and do the same thing on the edge. Same thing all the way around the board. Now the key to this, of course, is not losing that position between the tip of the pencil and the tip of your finger. If you do, so I just gave it up there, we can come back, reestablish at an existing line point there, and then we could continue around the board. The thing that I probably use this for the most is finding center on a board. So for that, what I do is just approximate the center from the tip of the pencil to the tip of my finger. Let's see if I can hold that board still for four seconds here. There we go. Make a line. Now freeze that, spin the board, make a line. Now depending on what you're doing, you might be done at this point. So for instance, if I'm looking to set a dado head or a router bit to the approximate center of this board, I'm probably going to be just quit at this point. I know that center is about there. It's halfway between those two lines I just made. So I would bring the bit up just below that, make a test cut, check it, raise it if I needed to. If you really want to get a layout line that's in the correct spot, so this is where I ended, I project out a little bit more pencil, Go again, spin, go again, and of course when those two lines fall in the same spot, then you know you're in the center of the board, and we can do with that information whatever we need to, whatever it is that we're laying out. So this is one of my fingertips, and I actually learned this from uh, Jim King, is a foreman I had in construction, oh geez, a really long time ago, like 30 years ago when I was doing construction for a living. Another finger tip is to use the ever famous folding rule, which I know a lot of you have also commented about. Thank you very much. And in this case, what I'm going to do is get the layout line that I want against the edge of the board. So in this case, one inch. Then I put my finger against the edge and use that to strike a line. And I can't tell you how many boards I've ripped with a cirque saw in the field having done this to get a line established down the length of the board. Working by yourself, it's way easier to do than snapping a line and you're dead parallel to that edge if you do this correctly. Now again, it takes a little bit of a practice, a little bit of practice to make sure that once you're established at a given dimension, you hold it at that dimension throughout the pass. But it's something that's definitely worth messing with, practicing, because once you get the hang of it, it's a really easy way to lay stuff out. So those are George's finger tips for the day, and I hope you enjoy them, hope you use them, practice them, you're going to get good at them, and you're going to find that an indispensable skill to have in your shop. You'll have my finger tips with you all the time, which is a little weird, but you know what I mean.